My name is Charlie Su. I'm CTO and Senior uh, Executive VP of Andes Technology. So today I'm going to uh, talk to you about and uh, give you an update of Andes RIS-5 processor solution from MCU to data center. So first I'm going to give you a, a little over, uh, overview of Andes, and uh, then I'm going to talk about two new product family, 27 series core with vector processing unit, and also super scalar. 45 series core, and I'll give a, sum, a summary. So Andy's, uh, corporation, Andy's technology uh, is a founding member of Research Foundation, and we're also a major contributor for um, many different uh, uh, research community staff, uh, starting from uh, chairing uh, task groups and to contributing to uh, tool chain like GNU, LLVM, and also the uh, runtime software stack from U-Boot, GDBC, uh, to Linux kernel, and so on. So we have over uh, about uh, 200 customers around the world, and together they ship uh, over 1 billion uh, chips with NDIS process embedded it, uh, annually. So how do we achieve that? Because we have been in this business for over 14 years. We are a public company. We are in Taiwan, not Southern America. And um, we're a customer. Uh, so, and, and also we develop um, our proprietary architecture uh, before, long before RIS-5 exists, uh, three generation, B1, B2, B3. And then uh, RIS-5 come along, uh, we kind of jump shit uh, to adapt RIS-5 as our fifth generation architecture. So a little bit about background about our uh, core R&D team. Uh, we have a lot of experience uh, in Silicon Valley processor uh, architecture from x86, Alpha, MIPS, Spark, to an NVIDIA media processor. Uh, uh, GPU. So, uh, and this uh, V5 architecture, uh, that's how we call it, uh, we position us as the best extension to RIS-5, uh, which is with RIS-5 plus some entity extension. <coughs> so our processor offer uh, high, uh, per megahertz performance for the same level of core and smaller core size with our code dense technology. And also, um, we offer a rich uh, set of features for embedded system, such as full set of cache management, uh, stack safe or stack protection, uh, power management uh, feature in quick nap and power break, and also we support how they initialize the low store. And also, uh, we are in addition to the Andis feature that we direct provide to our customer, we also will offer Andis custom extension, which is a uh, very powerful automation tool set which allow customers to add in the instruction to fit their application. And also, uh, and it provides the full art here in Verilog, which is K-Tool friendly. And also, uh, we uh, provide GUI tour so with a flexible configuration for customers to choose what go into their SOC. So customer, uh, people usually ask, uh, where is our uh, V5 process being adapted? Well, it's uh, from MCU to data center. So it appears in edge applications such as Atlas, uh, AIoT, blockchain, MCU, multimedia, security, wireless, and so on. And also appear in the um, uh, cloud-bound applications such as data center, accelerator, uh, AI accelerator, and also enterprise SSD, and also 5G, um, micro cell, small cell, and so on. And 50% um, of those applications has something to do with AI and they use advanced technologies up to a seven nanometer. So another way to look at uh, V5 adaption is the number of core, a number of all core using custom SOC. <coughs> so since we have a lot of edge application, so a majority of customers using single core, but we do have customers using two to eight core. We have customers using over 30 core. We have customers using over 100 core. And we are customer using over 1,000 core. So these are all our core used to do the computation, not just do the uh, control a bit of array. We are part of the computation array. So uh, let, let's look at the V5 processor lineup. So first is the 25 series core. I started with um, N25F, D25F, and X25F, which is a fast and compact a processor with optional uh, 14-point unit 
And D25F also has the DSP feature, which is peak tension. And going up, we have A25 and X25, which is the, uh, with the Linux uh, capability. And going up, uh, A25 MP and X25 MP is uh, with multi-core cache coherency uh, up to full core. So, and then um, the core with uh, X in it is uh, support RV64, and the other one is RV32. Uh, and so th those are five-stage pipeline core uh, capable of running at 1.1 gigahertz at uh, TSMC um, 28 HPC plus process. So on the low corner, we also have N22, which is a very small core, a two-stage pipeline capable of running to uh, 700 megahertz at the same process. So uh, we, we have a news uh, press release announced last week. So we, are, uh, we are officially talked about uh, release the detail of uh, our 27 series core uh, with a feature, a feature like main boots and vector extension, which we want to talk about uh, more detail later. And also we are releasing our super scalar core, again with main boots and dual issue capability and, and so on. So all those core has a common feature like cache, um, local memory, ECC, branch prediction, uh, code and technology, power break, stay safe, we talked about earlier, and also endless custom extension. That's one of our uh, most important feature which our, our customer like. Okay, so 27 series. So uh, first releasing uh, available to customer will be A27 and X27, and also NX27V, which is vector extension. So uh, other than the vector extension, all those calls supporting uh, GC, and we also support N, which is a user level interrupt, and also P, which pack DSP. Uh, so it's a five stage pipeline, single issue, and leverage the mature 25 series. So it's got similar scalar performance. But uh, a customer using um, 25 series, usually the more embedded application, they tend to use a DMA to move data code to a processor. But we start to have customer like running Linux, they want to use a software directory to, to uh, pull in the data. So, uh, so then we have this members to help to uh, Im improve the memory bandwidth and also reduce the latency. So three things that we do. First is uh, usually people call write the run, which is the te technology to uh, monitor the uh, data cache write. And after you monitor certain sequence, you skip the unnecessary write directory right to the um, uh, level two memory so that you don't pollute the cache. And we also support multiple outstanding data access cache and uncache. So as long as you don't use the result, you can continue to execute the code. And introducing and data prefetch. Uh, introducing prefetch is simple, just sequential fetch. And uh, data prefetch, we monitor multiple sequence. And uh, once you hit the pattern, you start doing the prefetch. So note that this, uh, this members is uh, on top of a single issue core. It's still very powerful. So a uh, preliminary measure that we have that uh, it, uh, the members help to improve the uh, bandwidth by 50% compared to 25 series, and also help to reduce the uh, latency by half. So next, let's look at the X25V VPU, uh, which is a vector processing unit. So we support the full RVV spec, which is the ongoing point eight. So we like the task group to, uh, because people are already starting uh, investing time and energy and code and even going to silicon. So I think going forward, task group should add feature instead of changing thing. So just before uh, point eight, we were kind of in the point seven one, and point eight changed some, a couple of things which make it not backward compatible. So I think it's very important that for task group to, to know that going forward, we should just enhance, enhance uh, the feature, uh, keep the backward compatibility. Otherwise, the task group itself uh, creates a uh, fragmentation. Okay, so uh, the data format we support uh, in the uh, standard element width, we support uh, int 8 to uh, 32, and also uh, at piece 16 and 32. 
And we also, uh, because the AI application uh, that we like to kind of address, so we extend it with uh, BFRO 16 and also INT 4. <coughs> and uh, our hardware support uh, ELMA 1248, so that uh, when you execute a longer uh, vector, uh, you can have more efficiency. Uh, so just using more register uh, to uh, cover your, your uh, latency. So our VPU uh, main configuration is uh, um, the uh, SIMD width and also VLAN width. Uh, we support from 128 to 56 to 512. <coughs> and uh, we have uh, quite a few functional units, which are all channelable, and each one with dedicated intrusion queue, so that uh, if one intrusion is ELMA longer, it don't, uh, re don't need, it would not block the execution of uh, subsequent intrusion. And so you can continue to fetch down the row and do the uh, uh, setting up for the uh, execution. And they are mostly fully pipelined. Also, uh, once you have a efficient execution engine, you need to have, you need to have fed pipe to feed in the, uh, the register load and so on. So, uh, so we have wide uh, system bus uh, for data access, that including cache and uncache access. And also we have a vector register can serve as an open for our custom extension uh, instruction. So custom can use that to design uh, um, a more advanced uh, vector load store instruction so that moving data from a, a dedicated memory port. So uh, because vector extension is a, a kind of including like 300 instructions, so quite sophisticated, the spec may not cover every, all the detail. So uh, we're very happy to work with a partner in Paris. So uh, they're working on a fast simulator. We also have our own simulator. And so we uh, want to make sure we interpret the spec the same way. So we're running two simulators side by side to make sure that we can match with each other. And whenever we not match, we can come to uh, go to the a task group to, to kind of uh, ask for clarification. So uh, in NX25V, we already have a leading customer kind of designed it uh, in the process designed to their uh, SOC. So let's look at the uh, tight loop. So this is kind of a uh, real example by just hiding instruction. So you have three instruction uh, or vector, uh, two floating point, one integer, uh, LMA equal to eight, uh, so you SQ a uh, micro instruction. So time going uh, on the right, and the green green one is a micro instruction uh, in SQ in different stage, and a yellow one is a micro instruction, different micro instruction SQ in sequence. So you can see that um, the uh, VI one instruction the result can used by uh, VF two. So this directly chain together. And v, uh, VF2 can SQ uh, with couple cycle down the pipeline, and then can pass the result to uh, VF3. So fully, fully pipeline, fully uh, channelable. So that's a, a subsequent iteration, and so on. So here, VF3 actually is the uh, introduction in the next iteration. So that's why it kind of started uh, later. <laughs> okay. And so for this powerful vector engine, so what, how, how do we, what do we have for users to do development? So we have assembler, we have debugger, and something we leverage uh, from the uh, upstream, and we have some enhancement on our side. And the uh, compiler part, we uh, kind of implement the intrinsic function, because right now, uh, foundation doesn't have the standard yet, uh, but we kind of want to implement something so we can start it. And later on, if there's some agreement on the intrinsic function, we're going to kind of merge that well, with the foundation. <clears throat> and we use a vector instruction to implement neural, neural, neural net library, just like we did uh, using the P-extension. So please know that P-extension and, and V-extension, we implement both, but they are targeted for different applications. We are not really think that you're going to use the same uh, instruction to going to cover different applications, because the power consumption area and so on, they are uh, really different. So we also provide <laughs> new cycle accurate performance uh, simulator, and also a pipeline resource analyzer so that you can look at your pipeline execution on vector instruction to see where the bubble is, and you can optimize it. So and all those are kind of integrated in, in our NDSI IDE. Okay, so now let's, let's look at the NDSI Core 45 series. So it uh, would support uh, RISC-V full ISR. 
So initially available would be N45, NX245, which is a, a, a baseline core, and then D core with adding with the P extension, the DSP, and also A core adding MMU support. And there are more code going to come coming down down the road. So this is the best pipeline <coughs> view. It's a SH pipeline dual issue in order, and we use late ALU to enable zero cycle uh, low use penalty, and also I can do dual issue of uh, de uh, dependent instruction. And it has a low power branch prediction, um, so that uh, you don't need to uh, look at the branch table every cycle. And it also has the same members memory subsystem. So it uh, can uh, 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 covering that the part uh, quite efficiently. So there's some performance <coughs> data here. So uh, maximum frequency will be over 1.2 gigahertz. And uh, for the integer benchmark, uh, the benchmark we have here, it's uh, basically 50% higher than the uh, scalar uh, in counterpart. <coughs> so here we have Comark, DMIPS, and also, we're probably the first company using uh, mBench uh, IoT as a ben benchmark. <clears throat> but either 32-bit um, comparison or 64-bit comparison is, a, is about 50% uh, faster. So here, we want to talk a little bit about LVM. Uh, LVM is a good compiler infrastructure. It also provides a good interface for AI compiler. So that's why a lot of customers like, uh, like what we offer. And this has been a major contributor for LLVM, uh, and including LLD, uh, we are the maintainer for that. And, uh, but um, the mainline um, advancement is a bit uh, slower, cannot catch out development. So we actually went ahead to uh, do a lot of stuff ourselves, and, and when time comes, we can contribute the code back. So our LLVM itself is about 15 to 25% faster than our stream LLVM by using uh, mBench and e Embassy as benchmark. And also, with the code dense technology we have and also our compiler optimization, uh, we are about 25% smaller than upstream LLVM, again, using uh, mBench as a, as, a, as a comparison. And also, um, usually, uh, in the upstream um, comparison, people think LVM is kind of slower and, and bigger than the GCC, the code produced. But our LVM is as fast as our GCC, um, as you can see in the, uh, in the comparison table. So it's about plus minus 1%. So it's pretty good, pretty usable, and we're going to release it very soon. So this is ID is kind of the, uh, 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 how do I say, the, the professional ID one which we uh, develop on top of Eclipse, uh, that is enriched by our 14 years continuous development. So a lot of features you don't find in the uh, standard Eclipse, which is here, can help you do either embedded development, uh, vector development, and all kinds of stuff is available here. So uh, in summary, um, and this um, risc five processor uh, is chosen by our customer to serve their uh, as, for their emerging SOC from edge to cloud, I think uh, it's uh, due to a couple of reasons. First, <coughs> our performance and extensibility. So we provide the leading PPA and code size for the same level of core. And also, we offer rich data processing capability, which from the small P extension for entry level MCU to vector extension up to 512 bit computation. And if that's not enough for you, we have custom extension automated tool for custom to adding instruction. So they can, so sky is the limit when you are able to adding the instruction for yourself. And also configurability, that's very important. Uh, so we offer rich uh, feature, but customer can have the flexible configuration to decide what go into their SOC, what, what's not. So they have, and they have a tool to, to, uh, to do that by themselves. They don't need to come to us. And the last is maturity. So, uh, and it has been uh, doing the, this uh, processor development for the past 14 years. So we have very good compiler optimization technology. So we go into Verify, we can bring that over. So our compiler tool is very strong. And also our software state is very complete. And we offer very good uh, simple code for, to get customer 
uh, jump started. And also, uh, and this ID provides comprehensive feature from profiling, code size analysis, uh, static, dynamic, and also uh, uh, code coverage, and all in one package. So, um, so I think uh, that's what we offer uh, for our customer, and hope that we have, if you okay, uh, are looking for a, a good risk five call to kind of working on uh, your product between edge and cloud, yeah, welcome to talk to us. Thank you. So you show a very, uh, um, how to say, a thousand core design. Could you uh, uh, introduce more about that design? What kind of design you, <laughs> 1,000 core? OK. So for 1,000 core, what custom care is uh, only the feature that they want can get into the, the, the processor. So they like it to be very configurable. So we offer, uh, before custom talk to, to us, I mean, our core already like that. We have many different features they can configure. We give them the GUI tool, they can, they can uh, configure it. And we also have a, a couple features uh, in the interface side, which customer very easy to connect to their NOC. So, uh, and plus, I think uh, no one going to use just thousand standard risk file charging code to do kind of, kind of large scale computation. So uh, we're being able to uh, offer the uh, edges custom instruction, the ACE framework with the tool, allow them to adding instruction. That also kind of one of the things which attract them. Hope that answers your question. <laughs>